What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Diamond Egglock. In the last episode we arrived here in Canalave City, battle our rival and then head over to Iron Island to just hang out with Riley really, <laughs> that's all we did. Um, but today we're challenging the Canalave City GM leader Byron. Um, I didn't do any training off screen as I said I wasn't going to do any because we are level 37, 38 and his ace is only level 39 so it's hard to like we're high leveled. We shouldn't be too bad with this gym, it is steel types and we have Yeezus with the fighting type moves. Uh, Becca with the fire type moves, and then we can also just do a mix of uh, moves here. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Um, you know, Pat is, is there for the rock types and the ground types that pop up. System 32 isn't going to be brilliant, but it does have bullet punch for the rock types. Uh, Buster, brilliant, but Dragonfly not brilliant either, but we'll see how it goes, guys. We shall see how it goes. Let's start off by battling these gym trainers. I am going to speed up all these gym battles, I think. No, 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 no. I, I, I'll do the, the needed ones, I guess. I'll, I'll play through them normally. I've been speeding up a bit too much lately. So, Black Belt Ricky with a Steelix. Straight off the bat, we have a Steelix. Damn, okay. So, we know a Steelix he is really quite physically defensive. So, um, Jesus is not going to have an easy time here. We may as well fake out <laughs> just to get a bit of damage off. It's going to be nothing at all. Yep, nothing at all, but at least there's some damage there. Um, Steve's is going to flinch, which is quite nice. I'm going to go for the Mark Punch, see how much damage that gets off. If it doesn't do as, you know, a, a, a reasonable amount, I'll just go for the High Jump Kick. I'll go for the High Jump Kick next turn and hopefully take them out with that taunt. Well, of course we're going to attack you, Steelix. Well, why would we not attack you? Hello? Like, I don't even know. High Jump Kick is going to hit. We haven't missed it once um, since we started using users, which is quite nice. And that is going to wipe Steelix out, which is awesome. Thank you very much, Steelix, for joining us in this venture of battling you and winning. I mean, not losing. Jesus. Almost leveled up there, Yeez. It's not bad. Black Belt Ricky was defeated. I never gave up, but I still failed. Oh, still I failed to win. Still I failed to win. Okay. Um, yeah, I said there might be a few optional ones, but I'm not sure what are optional, what are not. So, <laughs> it'll be a case of just running around. Up and down, you go on the lifts. Me, I like to battle. I like to battle too. I don't like going up down lifts. Hello? Like, what? I don't even know. Anyway, Worker Jackson, what are your Onyx? Onyx, 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 Onyx. Okay, so basically a less powerful Steelix. This is the one we just battled. Five levels lower as well, so this shouldn't be too hard. Not even going to bother the fake out this time, to be honest. I'm just going to go for the Mark Punch. Hopefully it's going to do half damage. We are like 11, not 11, 9 levels higher. Yep, that did over half damage, almost full. Iron Tail, We uh, do we resist Steel? I don't think we do. No, we don't. Okay. Just thought I'd check there. Our defense did fall then. I'm going to finish this guy off with a bullet punch. Um, yeah, basically a less powerful Steelix, which means he's going to do more damage. I wasn't going to go for the fake out because I figured fake out's not going to do anything against this gym, to be honest. So, is there much point in using it in the first place? Probably not. And that's level 38 for Jesus. Sweet. Level 38 indeed. High attack stat there. High attack stat. Another Onyx is coming in. I'm going to go into Patterers to take this thing out. Because as I said, Patters is going to be good against the rock types, the ground types. Um, what Pokemon does Byron have? Probably he's got a Bronzong. He's probably or Bronzong or Bronzor. Um, I'm pretty sure he has Aces Bastiodon, so we might need Yeezus for that. Or Patters can come in with the surf. Um, what else is there? What are the steel types that Skarmory possibly? I, I guess. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what other, what other Pokemon he might have. I legit don't know. I don't know. What I know. What kind of accent am I speaking in there? I don't know. Whenever I yawn, I always go into this weird, ac weird accent. Onyx is coming again. May as well stay with Patters. May as well stay in with Patters here. Okay. Fight Surf. Okay, Patters, let's do this. You just wipe the other one out in one turn, so you shouldn't be having any more trouble here. Nope. No, you did not at all. Thank you very much, Patters. You are going to be boss in this gym. You are going to just destroy... Who you're going to destroy? Can you see that as it goes across the screen? You might be able to see it as it goes across the screen. My apologies. Um, let's oh my Even if I minimise it, it's Tweet Deck open and then closing. I was just opening Tweet Deck to check. Um, okay. Oh, it's a dead end, so I could have speed sped through that battle. Well, since we could have sped through that one, but we didn't, we shall speed through the next one, which is this one here. Let's quickly switch Yeezus in for... Patters in for Yeezus. Switch there. Patters has got too many HMs on it. <laughs> get in the way. You! Battle me! A Pokemon Gym isn't only about seeing how tough your Pokemon have to be, it's so much deeper than just that, it's a test to you as a person. Okay dude, you just got an Onyx, Surf is gonna wipe it, thank you very much, good game. <laughs> this is gonna go here, which is a dead end, brilliant, okay, I'll ignore that, this is gonna go here, which is gonna take me 
just back down to there. So we are finally on the right one here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah seems to be a catchphrase of mine for some reason. I don't want it to be a catchphrase. I just say it a lot. I don't know why. Anyway, an ace has the knowledge and experience of battling at high levels. I'll demonstrate what that means to be to a noob like you. Excuse me, noob. N you're talking to the ca champion of the Kanto region, champion of the Johto region, champion of the Sinnoh region, champion of the home region, because I forgot that, champion of the Nova region, and champion of the Kalos region. Don't call me a noob here, yeah? Do not call me a noob, you little piece of... I don't know. Okay, uh, let's just go for the surf, I guess. Don't know why Scorpy is in this gym at all. Um, I guess because it's got steel-like additions on its tail and its claws. I mean, that, that would be the only thing I can think of. It's not a steel type. Its evolution is not a steel type. There is no reason for Scorpy to be in this gym whatsoever. Steelix, however, has a good place in this gym because steel is in his name. Good game. <laughs> okay, let's hope we can just take this thing out with one surf. It's super effective. Plus, as I mentioned, Steelix has no special defense at all. So it's not going to be able to bulk this very well. We'll see though. Ooh, yes, it did get out of one. Awesome. If that was an Aqua Jet, however, it might have survived it. So, Aqua Jet or something else, you know. Here's yeah, an example, guys. You know what I mean. Okay, more experience for Patters. Level 38 for Patters as well. Yes, Patter is your boss. Wants to learn Stockpile. No, we're not learning those three moves. We are not going to learn those three moves. Thank you very much. Give up on Stockpile. Wants to learn Swallow. No, my, my Pedipid is not Swallow, guys. Uh, and we shall not learn spit up either. Keep old moves. Give up on spit up. Thank you. That's that. A trainer Caesar defeated. Wow, I'm in the mood to sing a lullaby. Okay, you do that. You sing that. You sing that lullaby, dude. You 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 weird dude. You sing that. Okay, fine. You sing a lullaby, and I'll just watch you. Okay, let's get system photo leveled up if we can. Bum 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 bum. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, uh, I hate this gym. I don't like this gym very much. The panels get confusing and stuff, and it's just, yeah. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Over here. Another dead end. Why would you do this to me? Like, why is that helpful? Hello, you. Let's battle. Pokemon and have worked together for many years. Let us show you an example of that history. You can certainly try, dude. You can certainly try. And have a drink. Worker Gerardo, okay. So as Onyx. Okay, we can take that with Bullet Punch. Um, actually, no, wait. Lower special defense, so it's better go for Psychic. So that's what I'm going to do. Psychic is the better choice here. What level does Matang... I need to have, uh, what level does Matang roll into Metagross? Matang! Ba -ba -bum, Diamond Pearl. Involves into Metagross level 45. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Eight levels left. Eight levels left before we get a Metagross, which will be awesome. Onyx is coming in again. I shall stay in because... Well, we just want to kill that one just now, so why not stay in? Level 29 again. We are over-leveled for the gym trainers, but we are, should be on par with the gym leader by the time we get there. So that's all good. Goodbye, Onyx, once more. Thank you. Okay. System phase 2, how are you doing? That's what I usually do. Welcome, Gerardo. A spectacular loss, but it's still a loss. Indeed it is. You should not be uh, proud of that spectacular loss. Nothing there. And a fighting type user, so well, a fighting type guy, so I don't know what he's going to be using. Ah, yeah, we're coming out swinging with super heavy judo drops. Well, you're supposed to be in a steel gym, so I don't know why you'd be using fighting type Pokemon. Black Belt David sent out Onyx. Okay, that's fine with me. That's fine with me. We just defeat two Onyx in one hit, so that's good. Well, not, not two Onyx in one hit, two Onyx in two hits, but they're only one hit. You guys get what I mean. It's not, it doesn't sound as good if I say two, two Onyx in two hits. It's like, oh, okay then. Two hits, really? Not even one? Sort of thing, sort of thing. Okay, well that one is dead, as we predicted. Uh, what's up next? A fighting type maybe? Nope, Steelix. Okay. Um, it's going to resist the psychic here, unfortunately. So we haven't really got anything against it at all. Um, Dragonfly hasn't got anything against it at all either. Buster, you're up. You're up, Buster. Even now, I just realised both the stabs are resisted in this generation. So that's brilliant. Because if you remember back in before generation six, guys, both Ghost and Dark. Or steel resisted both ghost and dark. So and that's both busters types, so that's not brilliant really. Um I'm gonna suck a punch it, see what he's gonna do. They're not gonna attack us, they're gonna go for the Sandstorm! The rude, yay! Yay! <laughs> okay then. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much, Steelix. It's very nice of you. Why would I go for a physical attack anyway? I'm a special attacker, plus he has lower special defense. Hello! 
Why am I doing this? I don't know. Ominous wind go through, or come through, or pull through, or something through. How much damage is it going to do? That rhyme with the other ones, actually. Not much. But it did raise our attack, our defense, our speed, our special attack, and our special defense. Get wrecked, Steelix. Screech, missed. Oh, get wrecked again. Sandstorm is going to be a bit of a bitch, though. But the leftovers can counteract that for the time being. Which is pretty darn good. At least if Steelix doesn't keep attacking us, we should be fine. <laughs> or doesn't keeps not attacking us. Whatever. Okay, nasty plot. What have we got? That rhymed. Nasty plot. What have we got? Raise my special attack sharply so I have plus three special attack. He's lowering our special. No, he's lowering our physical defense. Okay, I got it wrong. Screech is not what I thought it was. Um, what's on low special defense? I don't care. Metal sound. Is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah. Metal sound. I think it is. Anyway. He used Screech to lower our physical defense, so we need to kill this thing in this turn, please. It's not faster. Ominous win. We have plus three special attack now, so who knows if we're going to take it out or not. Not quite. We have Shadow Sneak next turn, so as long as we survive this one attack here, we're fine. Rock Slide. Oh dear. Especially that spe uh, defense drop. We oh, might be. No, no, we took it like a boss. Buster is pretty bulk, so it's all good, guys. It is all good. We can Shadow Sneak to finish this thing off, finish off the game, finish off this battle, take out the Steelix, whatever term you want to use for it. We're just going to use Shadow Sneak. Yes, please go. And that should be Steelix dealt with, to be honest. Yes, it is. Okay, good. That's, I think it's just that guy? Yeah, oh, he had an Onyx as well, but that's it. Sweet. Okay, Buster, get that experience in. Roll in it. Roll in the experience. Black Belt David defeated. That was a complete trashing, yes. I don't know how I expect to use his judo chops with an onyx and a steaks, to be honest, but okay. Um, yeah, we'll leave Matang in there. It's cool. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, just keep going, just keep going down. Another ace trainer here. Yay! This gym's so long as well. <laughs> By focusing on only one type, you can really see the strengths and weaknesses of that Pokemon. Oh, do you now? Or can you now? Or will you now? Or way well? Or well, 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 I can't speak. <laughs> I can't speak. Ace trainer Brianna. Set out Azumarill. Okay, why is there a water type in the Steel Gym? This makes no sense whatsoever. Hello? It probably doesn't even have a Steel type attack. Okay, it might have Iron Tail, but apart from that, that's it. What else would it have, to be honest? Let's Psychic off this thing. Uh, can't remember, I can never remember where Azumarill is slightly more special, especially or physically defensive, so. Iron Tail is exactly what it's got. Yeah. They had to give it Iron Tail, otherwise it would just be completely pointless. Can you use Strength first? See how much uh, better my physical attack is compared to my special? Yep, did more damage without the stab as well. I'm not sure if it does more damage. I'm not sure, yeah. British sure Strength has a lower base power than Psychic 2. But they just rose their defenses, so it's time to go for Psychic again. Or rose their defense, and the defense is. If it was defense is, we have to go for either of them. But since it's just defense, we're good. Iron Tail, we're not resisting that. But we're bulk, so we should be able to take it like a boss. Okay, we do resist it. Do we resist it? Yeah, we do. Okay. I, know, I didn't think Steel resisted Steel. <laughs> My bad. Okay, and that's going to almost heal us up to one health point, well, almost to full health points, rather. And the strength should then finish off the Azumarill, and that will be good game Azumarill. Didn't even have belly drums set with Aqua Jet. Terrible. Terrible Azumarill. Okay, and that thing is gone. Extra experience for System 32. Ace Trainer Brianna defeated. My focus is too marrow minded Indeed it was. Indeed it was. Okay, where are we going next? Oh, this is taking us to Gym Leader. It's Byron! Okay, um, I'm pretty sure he starts off with Steel type, so I'm going to leave off with Foxify here, because she can deal with a pure Steel type, or a normal Steel, uh, steel type, but she can't deal with the Bastion when she's Steel Rock. Ah, that's Orbog's gym badge. I see, I see you defeated my son, but that's not a surprise, he still has much to learn. In place of my son, Rock, I, Byron, will take your challenge. Why would you be in place of your son? This is your gym. It's not like it's his gym and you're just standing in. It's your gym. You're not in the place of anyone. Anyway, Bronzor, as predicted, comes out first. I mean, it's not Bastion on first, is what I mean. Okay, Becca, let's do this. As you can see, we're pretty much on par now. Uh, so Flamethrower should wipe it. I'm not sure if it's going to wipe it in one, but it should do over half damage, definitely. Come on, 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 come on. Yep, in one. Get wrecked. Um, critical hit, so that probably... I don't know if it, I don't know if it would have mattered, actually. Who knows? Bronzor's fainted, and we gained some experience. What's up next? Is this the missing link? Yes, Steelix, of course. Steelix, 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 Steelix. I'm going to go to Patterswiss. Go to Patterswiss, and I'm going to leave um, Bastiodon down for Yeezus to deal with. 
since it has a four times a strength. So, okay, Steelix, let's do this. Shouldn't take too long to kill Steelix because there's low special defense. And our super effective surf, we might be able to take it out in the one turn. Like we did the bronze or but who knows? Who the freak knows? We are going to do over half. And that's enough to take it out in one. One a kill. Thank you very much, Patters. You're powerful. Does Steelix get sturdy? If it does, I feel like if that was generation five, it would have worked. Okay. Bastiodon's coming in, as I said, I'm switching to Yeezus here. I'm not gonna bother with a fake out, because it's resisted four times. It's not gonna do any damage at all. And before I attack it, it gives that like one health point, and the fake out would have killed it if I used it. I doubt that would happen, but it'd be interesting if it did. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm not going to be setting up. Setting up? Hello? Did I say setup? I'm not sure. Anyway. Oh, what's this? My last one. This is where we make our stand. Indeed. Um, yeah, not using fake out. Setup? I don't know what it's saying setup for. Um, so I'm just going to strip the mark punch, see how much damage this does, and then we can go possibly for the high jump kick next turn. It is four times effective, so over half. Almost killed it in one. Citrus Berry? No Citrus Berry. Rest! Really, Bastiodon? Straight off the bat, not even hanging around for, for waiting to see how much damage I'm going to do. You just rest it up straight away. Chester Berry? Yes, it does have a Chester Berry. Awesome. The strats, guys, they actually have some decent strats in this game. I'm going to use Bullet Punch first. Because um, the damage that does should then allow us to take it out with a Mark Punch to get rid of any potions. Oh shit, it's not done enough damage. Flash Cannon? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, that's a special attack. I'm not sure what Bastion is. I think it's mixed, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's not doing much damage. Gonna get for the Mark Punch now. Hope it does enough damage to kill it. I thought Bullet Punch was gonna do more, to be honest, but it didn't, unfortunately. Um, oh, that's so close. That's so close. Rest again. Oh my god. Okay, I'm pretty sure a high jump kick is just going to wipe it in one, so that's what I'm going to use next turn. Because they can't wake up now because they've got no chest to bury. So they're going to be asleep for at least two turns. I could mark punch, but I'm just going to end it. I'm going to end it decisively with a high jump kick. We're going to hit it. Good. It means we don't do any damage to ourselves. And is it going to take it out in one? I knocked over my noise filter onto my lap. G freaking G. And yes, I did take that in one. Apologize for that, guys. You probably didn't hear any of it. It just. Yep. I put my head down. From a, from a hand down from a head and managed to scoop up the noise filter with it. Hmm, my sturdy Pokemon defeated. I can't remember what voice is there for him, so. You were strong enough to take down my prize team Pokemon. Oops. In recognition of that power, I give you this the Mind Badge! Well, I got the Mind Badge. But someone decided they were going to interrupt my recording. Fuck again, Jesus Christ. Okay. Having the Mind Badge now is you to use the hidden move strength anytime outside of battle. And now you have six, and you now have six gym badges. That means all Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you out of question. Here, take this too. Obtain the TM-91. Yes. Okay. That TM-91 contains a move Flash Cannon. If it hits, it may also lower the target's special defense. Flash Cannon is probably not going to be useful to anyone on my team. Spirit Tube might be able to learn it, uh, which might be a thing. But apart from that, that's pretty much it. Because there's no point in teaching it to uh, Matang, because it's a physical attacker. Um, but fine, <laughs> that's all I can think of. It's, uh, Spirit Tube might be the only possible one. Let me check it. Before I leave, because we've got boring stuff to go over next. Uh, la 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 la. Flash cannon. We have drain punch. Okay, I forgot about that. Flash cannon, there we are. Can anyone learn you? Mm, yeah, obviously him, but no. No one useful, at least. Grass knot, no one can learn, I don't think. Maybe, actually, I think Pelipper can learn grass knot, to be honest. Nope, maybe not. Okay, but System 32 can, is not helpful again, because it's a special attack. Stealth rock. We could go for hazards in battles from now on, guys. We can, we've can. we got a Stealth Rock Arena System 32. Payback, Shadow Claw, we could teach the System 32. Or just, just no wait, System 32 can't even learn it, okay. Hasn't got good enough claws, apparently. Silver Wind could be taught to Yan Mega. Um, or Buster, actually. Uh, it's more powerful than it's power 60. Actually, no wait, I think, uh, I think Silver Wind might be more powerful. Drain Punch, we can probably give to Yeezus. But it has high. No, it can't good see. Okay, yes, can punch. Brine, we can give to Pelipper, but don't really need it. Roost, Pelipper, Steel Wing, Pelipper. Thief, uh, some people. Ace Wing, a a Ace Wing, Area Ace, Pelipper. Um, Shock Wave, I think Pelipper can learn this too. Yep, we can. Um, I might put it on for Ledge type attack because we haven't got any. Um, give it to Buster since Buster has, you know, sort of no moves, I guess. Um, I'm going to get rid of Sucker Punch because I feel like that doesn't do enough. We have. I want to keep Shadow Sneak for the priority, so I'm going to get rid of um, Sucker Punch. So Shockwave is, is a thing now on Buster. Shadow Ball, as I said, I could teach too, but meh. Iron Tail, Sunny Okay, That's it. Let's leave the gym now, and I'm pretty sure we'll be confronted straight away by... Yeah, Barry. 
Hey, that's the mind badge. Good going. You're tough, you're tough enough to consider becoming the Pokemon champ. Of course, I'm tougher, so it's not actually going to happen. Anyways, Matt, come with me to the library. Why do I have to come with me to the library? It's just a fucking library. Okay, here we go. Let's get in the library, because we know exactly what we got to go through now, guys. Boring library shit, pretty much. Boring library shit. That's what I'm going to refer to it as. Okay. Hey, Matt, over here, this way. I'm coming, Barry. I'm coming. Look, it's our friends. Okay, Gramps, I brought Matt like I said. Alright, I'll be out of here. Just stands over there. What? He doesn't even leave, he just stands. Hello? Okay, I get it. Hmm, everyone's here finally. Matt, everyone, listen. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. But the more I study, the more mystery, mystery, <laughs> the more mysteries apply and appear and multiply. Pokemon that evolve and those that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do those that are immature as living beings evolve to ones more mature? If so, what would make the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume the legendary Pokemon are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. In the Free Lakes of Sinnoh, there are said to be Mirage Pokemon. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokemon that are considered to be Mirages. What are you saying? I didn't get no Pokedex. And who was it that bought it from the lab before I had a chance to give you a Pokedex? But that's water under the bridge. <laughs> Saying Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you and becoming a better trainer too. You can count on me, I'll help my Pokedex too. Thank you very much Dawn. Matt, you'll go too, won't you? Hmm, I would maybe able to go regardless. Well, thanks Rowan. Anyway, now there are three legs, three legs. Fortuitously, fortuitously, there are three of you. You should therefore split up and investigate the legs individually. Dawn, you go to Lake Verity. Will do. Barry, I want you to investigate Lake Lake actually Lake. I can never say this fucking word. Lake Acuity. That would take you almost to Snowpoint City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Uh, yeah, of course. Gramps, you know how to call it. You can tell him the hotness. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. He's not PK Sparks. What? No. Hello. <laughs> and that leaves Matt with Lake Valor. The lake is between Velstone and Pistoria, if memory serves. Boom, boom, boom. A huge explosion. Has it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? Let's go outside, but be careful. No, I'm concerned about the city. He's concerned about the city. <sighs> Matt, hurry along. Be aware of aftershocks. Yes, aftershocks. Because they're totally going to happen. Because, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Okay. Let's make a move. Out the door. Here we are. Nothing has changed at all. That Trevor. That wasn't natural occurrence. Hey, hey, old dude and kids, something big just happened. They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom! Like that! <laughs> GG, Sailor. Gramps, I'm going to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> this is another exclamation mark. That Barry, can't sit still. Matt, I'm worried about Lake Valor, but I have no idea what's taking place. You must find out. But before you go, let me stress, don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. Matt, you'll be okay, won't you? I shall be completely fine, thank you very much, Dawn. Okay, let's run and heal up first and we'll fly down to, um, I guess we'll fly to Veilstone. Veilstone seems to be the quicker route down to Lake Valor, rather than uh, going to, I love going up from Pastoria, I think. I'm not sure. It's either way, really. Uh, Pelipura, let's put Dragonfly up front since Dragonfly hasn't been used at all today. Pelipura, fly to Veilstone City. Let's do it. Yep, and we shall get down and start. I guess we'll start Lake Valor. I'm not sure if we'll finish it this episode or not, but we can certainly make a start on Lake Valor, can't we, guys? We can certainly make a start on it. Okay. Let's keep walking. Just keep walking. Just keep walking like this. Hallelujah. Don't know why I said hallelujah. That was, that was nothing to hallelujah about. I just said it. Okay. It's because hallelujah is on my mind, because I keep saying it. It's a, it's a, it's a never-ending cycle, guys. I keep saying a word because I keep thinking of it, and I keep thinking of it because I keep saying of it. Keep saying of it, keep saying it. Anyway, let's get down to the lake. There's only like, this is the only bit of grass we have to go through here to get to the lake. Just that bit there and that bit there. Let's go inside. And. What the hell has happened to Lake Valor? Oh my lord! Next stop, Lake Verity. Boom, boom. Da -da. You gonna battle me? Oh yeah, you are. Well, that's technically optional because I ran past it, so we shall battle her and speed up. Signal Beam. Signal Beam is pretty much Dragonfly's only needed move. Uproar, because it's resisted, so. Get wrecked. There we are. Uh, no item around there, just a Magic Corp. Corp, Corp, Magic Corp. I'm pretty sure that's, that's a decent impression, I'm not sure. Corp, Corp, Magic Corp. 
something like that. Okay, let's get over here and head up here. Boom. Yeah, technically it is optional to be honest guys, because we could have gone in, to the right, down and all the way around, if we wait for him to look away, so. But we'll speed up because I just want to get this bit done in this episode anyway. Crow gunks coming in, I'm going to stay in anyway. Uh, faint attacks not going to do anything at all. Uproar is not going to help, oh, the swagger is not going to help. Uh, but we leveled up anyway, Slash. Um, no, we're a, we're a special attacker, so give up on Slash, thank you very much. And I shall switch in Buster. Buster and System 32 are the only ones that are leveling up to level 38 now. System 32 has already had a fair bit of training from the gym, so technically again optional guys, so I'll punish you in place of a our boss for the fine team galactic. You do that dude. You do that indeed. Let's go for shockwave. Yes, powerful. Powerful shockwave here. Beautiful eye, shockwave please. Get wrecked, son. Dust ox, may as well go for shockwave again. Oh, whirlwind, okay then. Fake out is yours. Really? 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 There we are, thank you. Took you out in the end. Another one? Nope. Nope, it doesn't matter, because he's not going to battle us. Okay, uh, too many fr- anyway, thank you. <laughs> too many different things. Um, okay. Let us go in here. Valor Cavern. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone, and for the good of Team Galactic. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna. <laughs> Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child, but anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very fall of opposition will not be tolerated. I decided to give Saturn a very a robotic voice almost. <laughs> to start off with at least, to change a bit, but... Commander Saturn, let's do this, Saturn. Kadabra! Okay, well, we're gonna have a nice, clean, and easy time against you with Buster here. Because Buster can ominous wind your ass into oblivion. Ominous wind it. Shockwave! Okay, they've got shockwave too, okay. <laughs> We are special defensive though, so it's not even that much of a worry. It's going to do not much at all. 93 get damage, 93 health points goes to 77, so that's all good. Ominous Wind. Will it take out in one hit? In, will it take them out in one hit or not? In one move, I guess. Is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? It is indeed! Not bad, Buster, and you are now going to level up to level 38. I am assuming. I am assuming indeed. Level 38 for Buster. Mm, boom! Yep, level 38 for Buster. Hell yeah! Yep, and see that high special defense stat there. A bit of leftovers, because why not? Only one to level up now is... That's the one. System 32. I'm pretty sure System 32, system 32 is just off leveling up anyway, so... How far are you off, System 32? You are... Okay, you're just over half then. I got it wrong. Okay, Ronzor. System 32 can completely destroy Saturn's last Pokemon, so as long as we take this thing out, we should be fine. Let's Pursuit, because that's going to do neutral damage to it. How much damage is it going to do exactly, though? Not much. Oh, damn. Shadow Ball is going to be neutral against us, because steel resist in this gen, apparently. Okay. Uh, leftovers are our advantage, though, because we have them. We have the leftovers. I mean, we can't use Bullet Punch, really. Pursuit is really all we've got. We could just hope they're going to switch out at some point and have Pursuit do a lot of damage then, but I doubt it's going to happen. I think I'm going to have to Gyro Ball. Okay. Okay, well, we're pretty slow anyway, so... Not that much faster, yeah, four damage. I'm gonna have to speed this up because otherwise it's gonna take a while to be honest guys. Rock Tomb, we're just gonna take the help with all their attacks. We are at full health points right now. And Pursuit is then going to finish Bronzer off, giving us a full stack of health points to take out Saturn's Ace, which, if you guys didn't know, once we gain some experience, is Toxicroak! Keep battling, we have Psychic Kill, which is four times effective. Toxicroak does not stand a chance. What level is it anyway? Level 37, so yeah, we're pretty much there. Anticipation should make you shut up because we have Psychic Mud Bomb. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. How much damage are you going to do? Oh dear. Just over, just less than half, rather. No accuracy drop, though, so I'm fine with that. Psychic is going to hit, and it's going to do four times effective damage, and... Should take it out, for those guys. <laughs> yep, it does. Not bad, Toxicroak. Get wrecked. And faint for us, please. There we are. What experience wise do we get? 1, 4, 3, 4, which is not quite enough to level up. Damn it. <laughs> Commander Saturn defeated. You, my friend, are tough. I can see why you defeat his soul. Indeed. Gah! Even I, Commander, only managed to buy us time. But that's fine. A child like you will never be able to stand the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the free legendary Pokemon of the Lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Marsh will capture the Pokemon of Lake Verity. Oh no, not Mars. Okay, guys, so. 
In the next episode of the Pokemon Diamond Egglock, we shall head to Lake Verity to battle Mars and save Dawn and Professor Rowan because they're also in trouble. And then we'll start our way up towards Lake Acuity to help out Barry. But guys, apart from that, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please hit the like button to show support for the series. Drop a comment down below answering answer the question of day two. And apart from that, hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye, my friends.